Principles of Sports Nutrition. As most people age, they tend to lose nerve and muscle connections, which greatly decreases their ability to use their muscles. Muscle and lean tissue loss, which includes bone mass, ligaments, cartilage, and connective tissue, associated with aging is called sarcopenia. This is the medical term. Sarco meaning flesh, pina meaning poverty of flesh. The term was actually coined by Evans and Rosenberg, authors of Biomarkers, the Ten Keys to Prolonging Vitality. Now, vitality is what life is all about. Vitality is energy, and energy is chi. To preserve the chi, we've got to preserve the muscle. We've got to preserve our functional tissue, and that's what the training and nutrition principles are all about. It's about prolonging the quality of life. You see sarcopenia in most people beginning around age 25. This is the gateway to premature senescence accounting for reduced oxygen consumption and a significant loss of functional capacity. Less muscle means less heat, less fat burning potential, and problems with fatigue, immune weakness, and a high susceptibility to injury. As much as 35 to 50 percent of an individual's muscle mass can disappear between the ages of 20 and 90. By 70, some muscles may have lost as many as 50% of their motor units and 75% of their fiber numbers. This always gets back to the concept of if you don't use it, you lose it. I think this is a marvelous paradigm. It should give hope to everyone. Science has proven that with the technology that we have available, that we can delay the onset of what the mainstream typically associates with age, and that is a decrepit body, wrinkled, you lose all your form and function and vitality, and that paradigm, that vision, is not in sync with science. The good news is that men and women of any age can prevent the premature wasting of functional lean mass, and yes, we can even gain it back. We can have greater quality of life, less weakness, more strength, and maintain an independent state for a much longer period of time than in the past. Of course, this approach will not save us from dying, but it will compress morbidity and increase our health span, and that's the main point. That is what our message is.